guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas. I overlined the fuck out of my lips today and I'm too lazy to fix it. However, back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a favorites kind of video. I haven't done one of these in a long time and I've seen a lot of you request this and I didn't know people actually so kind of liked these videos and so kind of watched these videos. Um, so if you guys actually like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Just let me know if you want to. Don't dislike it if you don't want to see these kind of videos. Just let me know in the comments if you... I don't know what I'm asking for. By the way, today's video is sponsored by the Cheese app. Now, the Cheese app is actually a really fun and exciting app, and I've actually really been loving it. Let's switch on over to um, Advertising Thomas real fast. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. The Cheese app is an ultra-form, vertical, full-screen video platform developed by the successful broadcasting app Live.me. Cheese is a mobile-first video community that is rapidly growing. If you are a new and up-and-coming um, creator, this is a perfect platform, a new platform for you to show your talents and all your creations. It is such a beautiful and amazing app for you to, ex to get really great exposure and to really just get rewarded and featured for your creative and awesome talents new app is for short video creations anywhere between 7 to 17 seconds to really show off what you got your talents your makeup skills your comedy anything like that it's really awesome for all of that and it's such a short amount of time so i mean it's kind of sickening you can even show off your lip syncing skills I did it myself. <laughs> even have really fun games and challenges. You can even do this really cool thing called a dance off. It's a really fun feature. It kind of reminds me of Dance Dance Revolution, but for your phone. I have my boyfriend do this part because I cannot dance to save my life and um, he can kind of dance, but it's really fun. You can do dance offs. You can challenge your friends. You can have your friends dance with you. It's super fun, super exciting. And just it's this app is really fun. I really recommend you guys check it out and download it. You can follow me. Um, I'll have all of my information down below as well. It's a really fun app. I really recommend it. Thank you again, Cheese App, for sponsoring today's video. And let's move on to my favorites and hate fits. Thank you, Advertising Thomas. Now, I love the Cheese app. It's really awesome. I really recommend you guys download it. Again, I'll have a link in the description box for you guys to go download it. It's really fun. Go follow me over there. I'm going to try to be more active. It's actually a really fun app. Um, I'm going to try to be super active on there. I already have a few posts over there live that you guys can check out. I got my little Gryffindor, repping Gryffindor. Shout out to all my Gryffindor fam out there. We're pretty lit, to be honest. I'm sorry. Anyone else? I, I, we, we, I, Gryffindor, Gryffindor all the way, I fucks with my Gryffindor fam, okay, let's get on with this video, subscribe, etc, etc, you guys know the drill, subscribe, like, comment, da, 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 let's get on with the bitcha, so I'm not going in any particular order, um, I'm just going off of what I see first and what I want to talk about first. And the first thing I see here in front of me is these ColourPop. Oh my god, you guys. These these are so sickening. It's the ColourPop Supernova Shadow Eyeshadows. So basically, the best way I can explain these is that they're basically um, a cheaper version and a kind of a better version than the Stila Magnificent Metals. Comes in more colors. Comes. It, it's just really nice. I'm wearing the shade Now or Never on my eyelids right now. So, so pretty. They dry super fast. So you have to be a little bit um, careful when working with them because they do dry pretty fast. If you have hooded eyes like I do, they can transfer and they can um, flake off sometimes. So you have to be very careful and quick working with them. And when you apply them, you want to let them dry. So you want to be like, you want to be looking down and be like, doing one of these moments. Otherwise, it is going to get a little flaky. Um, I have noticed that with some of these colors. Some colors are more pigmented than other colors, um, but I find that these are really nice to work with. I like working with them more than the Stila the more I like working with them more than the Stila Magnificent Metals, um, and they just have more colors. So I'm just going to swatch a few for you. So now or never, the one that I have on my lid right now is one of those shades that's just like a cute little lid topper. It's not, you're not gonna get a lot of pigment from it. You're not gonna have um, anything to be wowed by. It's just gonna be a cute little lid topper. If you wanna like put it on top of, see, it's just gonna be a cute little lid topper, nothing crazy. It's really cute. Oh, this color, I really wanna do a look with this color. 
but this color that is Mothership, these are just stunning. I love working these. It does have glitter in it, so if you're not really a glitter person, I totally understand. They have like holographic shades. It's really pretty. This one's over again, I think. Yeah, over again. I'm just going to swatch a few golds. To it's just like these are so pretty. Um, I really, really love working with these. So another favorite of mine has been the Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Rose Gold Highlighter. I, another honorable mention is the Master Holographic, but this one's a little bit more chunkier and it's not like my go-to. This one's just a little chunkier and glitterier, glitterier, but it is a really good one if you're into the glitter kind of highlight. But this one, if you're looking for a wet highlighter from the drugstore, this will do it for you. It's really good for all skin tones. I find that this works on pale skin. It's not like super pale skin. Like if you're, I'm either NC15 or NC20 as like a MAC foundation shade, if that is like any kind of indicator of how pale I am. So I'm just like, it's a really pretty highlighter. It's super, super wet looking. Um, it looks super wet, like, it's a pretty highlighter. It's not too powdery. It's not too thick. It almost feels kind of wet to the touch. It's a really nice highlighter. I really do recommend it. It's super cheap and um, I love it. And I've been wearing it nonstop since I've gotten it. It's a good highlighter. Moving right along, I actually just recently tried this product out just like in my last video actually. Same thing with those highlighters, but whatever, 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 whatever. It is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Now, in that video, I did say it wasn't my favorite mascara. Now, that's true. And you guys are probably going to be like, Thomas, um, the reason why you like this is not reasonable or realistic for the majority of people. And I get that. That's why I have the little baby one, which is the sampler size of it. This little sampler baby, little baby sampler. Now, I do like bottom mascara sometimes. Now, some mascaras can make my un my bottom lashes look like spiders because I have pretty, pretty long and, like, just long lashes on my lower lashes, even on my top lashes, but my top lashes stick straight down. But my bottom lashes are super long, so I kind of stray away from doing bottom mascara because I just know it's not really going to work out. But for some reason, this one just makes my bottom lashes look so pretty um, and so thick. I love how it gives it like that thick, like, like boom. I'm wearing it right now. Um, if you can see it, it just looks so pretty and just, I, I don't know. I think it's worth it, especially if it's the sample size. I don't know how much the sample size goes for. Probably like 10, 15 bucks. If you have that money to spend, I definitely recommend getting the sample size and trying it on your bottom mask bottom lashes, or even on your top lashes, but I'm pretty sure they'll be fine if you have naturally curly lashes, but for me, it's not really a top lash kind of mascara for me, but uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it for bottom mascara. So the next thing is a palette that one of my dear friends here on YouTube, I have been obsessed with the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Girl, Dominique, Chris Dominique, girl, Kristen, Kristen, girl. I am so proud of you. This palette is sickening. I love the color selections. I like how there's pop of colors. I like how there's just every day. Oh, it's such a good palette to start off with for your brand. Just like, look at this. Like, that's crazy. Do you see that? Like, I'm barely tapping into the pans. And it's just like pigment. Right off the bat. Just... Ugh. I just love this palette. It's definitely worth the money. It's definitely worth it if you are now Some of you might be saying this looks like every other Some of you might be saying this looks like a lot of palettes But honestly if you love Kristen if you love just supporting beauty gurus and just ugh, the cause I definitely recommend this. It's a beautiful palette. I loved working with it. It's just a nice good good palette. I'm proud of you girl Sickening now, another palette that you guys are probably going to be shook that I'm even mentioning. I recently got this in PR. This was like a really nice um, gift that they sent out for Valentine's Day. It's the Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I don't know what it is. It's just... I just got cats and they're playing in the plethora of makeup that's around me. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, um, Thomas, you like this? I do. It's so, I know, I would have never bought it if it was with my own money. 
but because it was sent to me, I tried it and I was like, wow, I get why people like this. I get why it was so hyped up. It was such like an occult favorite. Like, I don't know. I tried this and I was like, okay, I get why people like this. It's easy to use. You can do like such a quick, smoky, just pretty eye look. Like this took me 10 minutes to do. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to do something so that looks like could take someone forever. Come on, like it's such a pretty palette. It's super blendable. The shades are nice. The shimmers are nice. Everything's nice about this. I like it. It was good. Thank you, Ermina K, for sending this over. You shut me up because I, w I used to drag these. I used to drag these and be like, girl, what? why are you using that? I get it. I get it. And I, these are, I like these. It's really nice. So another thing that I've been loving is something that launched a little while ago. I think just before the new year or after. I don't know, but it's something I've been wearing nonstop, and it's the Morphe Brushes Lashes. Now, these aren't the lashes that I'm wearing, but these are one of the lashes that I love. The Style Hot Stuff. Super pretty. The style I'm wearing right now is the Style Heartbreaker. These have been my ride or die lashes recently. The cool thing about these Morphe Lashes is that they're like pretty, they're foaming. They're cruelty-free, they're vegan. Most Morphe Brushes stuff is cruelty-free and vegan. Um, but these are like just cruelty free. They're not mink. They're foaming. They mimic mink lashes. They're only $10 and they're like really lightweight. They're really easy to use and they're really pretty. I love the style heartbreaker. Honestly, if you have hooded eyes, if you have my kind of eye shape or if you or just any eye shape, I think the, sh the style heartbreaker would work for everyone. Morphe killed it with these lashes. They launched a huge selection of lashes and I recommend all of them. If you see a style you like, get them because they're super the last one is thin they're easy to apply they're really nice and i have a coupon code with morphe to save you 10 percent off it's thomas in all caps it'll save you a dollar <laughs> last but not least i also tried in a video it is the hourglass hourglass arch fiber gel mascara for your brows okay i know what you guys are thinking thomas that is an expensive ass brow gel and i get it i get it it is it is. It, it, it is. It, it is. But it's so nice. I've never seen my brows look better with this. Like, honestly, I used to love the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. That's a good alternative, but it never, it doesn't do what this does. This, honestly, transforms my brows. Even when I'm not wearing, like, the full shebang. If I'm not wearing my precisely my brow or anything else, just this on its own is so good. It looks so pretty on my, I am serving butthole lip realness today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But on its own, seriously on its own, it is such a good product. It makes your, la your lashes, it makes your brows look so full, so thick, so voluminous. Doesn't make them look messy. It just, oh, it's so nice. The wand has like a little comb on this side. It's such an, I, I don't know, it's so good. It's so, 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 so good. I love this so much and I'm never, I'm actually gonna go to Sephora and buy some more of this because I mean, I did get sent this as PR, but it's so good that I'm about to go to Sephora and buy two more just because I need it in my collection in case I ever run out because it is so good. Another honorable mention, I can't really say I love it that much because I haven't really had enough time to use it, but I do want to add this in the video just because it is, it is definitely, it is definitely a favorite of mine. It is the ABH Soft Glam. I tried it in my last video and it was so nice. Such a nice palette to work with. Looked so pretty. It might show up in another, it may show up in another favorites video just because I've been obsessed with this. Anytime I've been doing my makeup since I filmed my last video, I have been gravitating towards this one or my Naked palette. It's an amazing palette. And I really, really do recommend it and I feel like you should get it. If you are a this kind of girl, get it. Okay. Okay, time for everybody's favorite time of this video. It is the products that I hated. Now, there is a lot of products here in front of me. Okay, first things first, this Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Um, I tried this in my last video. Hell no. Uh-uh. Mm-mm, boo-boo. This was just not cute. It was not cute to work with. 
The packaging is ugly to me. Apparently you're supposed to, you have to reapply it every two hours. After I filmed the video and I got back and I was like looking at my skin, I was like, ew. My skin looks gross. So apparently you're supposed to post this, you're supposed to reapply this every two hours. I don't know who has time for that. It just was not cute on my skin. It was gross, it was dry. Next up is the Too Faced wipe. There's gonna be a lot of Too Faced in this section of the video. I'm sorry Too Faced if you're watching, sorry Jared. But girl, uh-uh, uh-uh. If you are Caucasian, if you will, Caucasian, this palette will work for you. If you are not Caucasian, this palette will not work for you. These shades did not blend well. They were kind of, it didn't make sense. It was just like you have all these light mattes and then you don't have any dark matte. This just was not a very coherent and it, this palette made no sense to me. This palette made no sense to me. It wasn't very coherent, not very fun to work with, did not blend. It kind of made me upset working with this. I do not recommend this. I do, however, recommend the Just Peachy Mattes. This one's a lot better than this one. Same packaging concept. This one's better works on all different kinds of skin tones as you can see there's more of a, an array of selection this is just ash this is just ash waiting to happen will not work on anyone under the, if you are shades nc20 to nc30 this is the palette for you nc30 to nc whatever the darker shades are but we all know two faces a whitewash brand so I digress. Okay, so next up is the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. Now, this is the first foundation I've ever tried. Actually, the first product I've ever tried from Tom Ford. And needless to say, I'm very disappointed. I thought this was going to be an, a, a sickening, oh, a, a real sickening foundation. I thought this was going to be one of my favorites. If I could just tell you how much I paid for this. Okay, first of all, this is just, this is, bitch, this is, this is plastic. This is the cheapest form of plastic. Girl, this, it ain't, oh, cause Tom Ford is a luxury, Tom Ford is a luxury brand. I paid like 80 bucks for this. I paid 80 bucks for some fucking plastic that I, th this is drugstore packaging. Matter of fact, drugstore pack, girl, the drugstore has glass packaging. This. What would you do? And then the product inside of it is just, it feels so cheap. Like it's, it's like not sturdy. It's not heavy. It's cheap. And then the foundation inside, honestly, this foundation in here reminds me of this one, just like a lesser coverage of this one. Super drying, looks super cakey, does not, do anything for your skin. Just, it's not a good foundation. For 80 bucks, I can see why it was an online only exclusive because um, who the fuck would buy, I, I just, I'm still in awe of how bad this foundation was. I was sad because I was like, I, I wanted to be like, so next I'm gonna go into my Tom Ford foundation and just, but no, I can't do that, Tom. I can't do that, Tom. I can't do that because this sucks. Okay, next up, Too Faced Unicorn Festival Life's a Festival. Fe oh my God, Too Faced Uni Un Unicorn Life Unicorn Life's a Festival. The life Too Faced Unicorn Life's a Festival fe fe Festival Collection. Story time. I. I filmed an entire video. I filmed an entire, I filmed an entire video reviewing this collection. I got it sent in PR. Now, mind you, I was having a bad day that day, so it the the video ended in me crying. Um, never edited it because I just when I tell you guys, I have never had a worse experience trying out makeup. It just was not fun. There was an entire Reddit post of how like I was being a crybaby. Um, fuck all of you people on Reddit, by the way. This is one of the worst collections Too Faced has, or any brand has ever came out with. I'm not even, even slightly exaggerating. The palette is awful. The, the lip products are awful. The highlighting products are awful. Just everything. Oh my God, this setting spray. This setting spray is, it's just, 
it has glitter in it. Like, who would want to set their face with, like, glitter? I, nothing about this, nothing about this collection was good. And because of that, I started crying because I was so overwhelmed and angry. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Cheese App, Cheese App for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at Thomas Halbert. I'll have a link down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being patient with me with uploading. I'm just just now getting used to being in this new setup, this new environment. Um, I'm dealing with new cats. I just adopted new cats. Two new cats. I'm trying to get the cats to like my dog and my dog to like the cats. My dog is scared of the cats. Thank you guys for being very patient, understanding with me with my uploading schedule. It will get better. It's just a lot going on. My mom's coming for my birthday. It's just a lot happening. And anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate love, care, and just, uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for allowing me to do sponsored content, by the way. I really do appreciate, appreciate, appreciate that as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.